All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm going to look at something, again, a little different than just Pi Toolbox and uh, raw track videos. Uh, about a month ago, Cosworth released a new tool they're calling a live drive race. Uh, I was fortunate to actually be able to beta test this and give them some feedback. But if you're familiar with the uh, GM Toolbox that, that Cosworth also makes, this is going to be very, very similar, except it works on your phone. So uh, this is an app for the iPhone or Android. Uh, that allows you to look at your PDR data and do basic data analysis um, from your phone. So it's it's pretty cool. So what we've got here is I've got the app up, and the first thing you're going to see typically is this outing screen. Um, so I'm going to cover how you get outings into the app towards the end there. Um, but in this case, we've got some already loaded. Uh, by default, you're going to see they either call it morning drive or afternoon drive based on when it is during the day. Um, so quick tip is if you want to rename them, um, there's a lot of little UI things that are kind of hard to find. So I'm going to try to show you those in the video today. The three dots over to the right next to the title. If you click on that, you click on edit, um, afternoon drive, you know, basically you can go in and I'll rename this to C A B I R save. Um, and I know it's VIR because I can tell from the track map they, they show you, which is pretty cool. Um, they give you duration of the outing. They give you distance covered. Um, I've already given them some feedback, and it sounds like they're going to add fastest lap, um, which is you know obviously really important because I want to be able to pick outings typically based on the lap time I saw in the event. And then um, we're going to go ahead and, and open some up and do some analysis. So uh, let's scroll down. Uh, we'll start with some C8 data from Summit Point. Uh, as you can see, I already renamed the outing. Um, looking at this tile here, if you just click on the tile anywhere, nothing happens. I'm, I'm tapping away. You can't see my finger, but nothing's happening there. Um, but if you see in the lower right-hand corner, there's an upload button. There's a trash can button to delete it, or the analysis text is yellow slash orange. Um, that, think of that like a hyperlink. So if you click on the word analysis, it actually will open it up in the app. So here what you get is um, up top, you have two video screens. So it's really set up for comparing laps um, and the video between two laps. And then you've got what's effectively a time distance chart um, that shows you different measures. Uh, they've pre-configured it with a set of measures that they show. So um, you've got what they call performance, which is speed and engine RPM. You have Driver inputs, so throttle position, brake position, steering angle, um, forces, lat G, long G, and speed. Um, I'll say, to be honest with you, um, unfortunately, none of these are the combination I like to see, which is I like to see accelerator, brake, speed, and then delta time. Um, I, I think they're going to add that, and I know they're adding delta time as well, which will be uh, really helpful. But let's look at driver inputs. Um, you can pinch and zoom. And let's go down to like turn one area. I'm just going to kind of pinch and zoom. And then you can scroll, um, you know, kind of left swipe, right swipe to scroll through the lap. Uh, so again, here you can see this is kind of the end of the um, uh, straight getting on the brakes for turn one. And then you see the steering angle. So blue is throttle, red is brake, that uh, darkish red is steering. And um, if you want to compare another lap, well, down in the lower right-hand corner, you see the word laps. Um, so if you click on that, you now get a list of here are the laps within this outing. So if I want to compare my 121.6 to, I don't know, let's say a 122.63, now you see I actually get two different measures. So I get uh, a lighter blue, uh, which is the one I'm, I'm comparing. Think of that as the the lighter orange uh, lap in the lap bar. And then I've got a darker blue. Um, actually, I don't know which is which to tell you the truth. So one is the reference and one is the one you're comparing. I'm actually not sure which one is darker. I think it's probably the lighter orange one is the darker color. So the darker blue, the darker red. Um, but again, now I can overlay the measures um, and see the differences. I think the reference might actually be the darker color. It's a good question for Cosworth. So uh, here I'm comparing two different laps. I've got the video again. Um, another thing you can do is if you just double tap on the video itself, it, it expands. So now I can basically focus on the video. 
Um, I've got the ability to hit play and go ahead and, and watch them side. <laughs> Gotta love that PDR wind noise. Um, there's a scroll bar at the bottom, so I can do high speed scrubbing and kind of fast forward to a place on the track I want. And if I bring my, um, again, my time distance chart back, again, it can also uh, double click to kind of drill into some areas here. So what if you want to look at two different sessions? Um, what you need to do is actually go up to the, the top next to the name of the outing. You see this, the word select. If you click select, again, you get a list of your outings. But here you'll notice they have that light orange or dark orange bar. So um, I want to go ahead and make my uh, a previous lap in the Grand Sport C7 on stock tires my reference lap. So if I go down to the bottom and I just, you can either swipe left and make it the compared to lap, swipe, uh, whoops, I'm actually swiping left to bring up the right to make it the reference lap. I click where that little arrow is and now it should be my reference lap. So at this point to get back to the screen, I go back up to the arrow in the upper left hand corner. And now uh, it's loading the analysis data for the GS. So uh, that was pretty quick. Sometimes it takes a couple minutes. Um, it looks like we have a bug here. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but as soon as I added that session, my my comparison went away. So I've lost it in the time distance chart, although the video is loaded. So, uh, hey, Cosworth, if you're watching, that seems to be a bug. I've, I've not seen that usually, but I definitely just got it now. Um, but let's go ahead and, and keep pressing on. Again, I could pick different laps. I can zoom in on the video. I can compare things. Let's see, we can go back to like maybe speeds on the straight. Oops, so here we go. So uh, the top is the C8, the bottom is the C7. Um, clearly, I'm well underway breaking here, um, but you know, maybe towards the front of the lap. You'll see I was actually a little faster. Oh, I'm already breaking. It's pretty similar. But again, I can hit play. <laughs> Watch my two laps side by side. And some other things that are really neat is uh, statistics. So again, much like the uh, GM toolbox, you'll see uh, things lap time, average speed per lap, max speed per lap, lateral Gs, time on accelerator, time on brake. You get individual tire pressures and tire temperatures. You get your uh, min and max water temp, oil pressure, oil temp, trans temp. So if you want to do a quick health check on your car, it's a good way to do it. And then what's really one of the cooler things, I've showed this in, in Pi Toolbox as well, but uh, you've got the aerial imagery. So, you know, pretty neat, particularly if you're comparing to somebody else's data, you could go ahead and uh, overlay both on the track map and scroll in again, pinch and zoom, just like a normal app. And you could see here in the C8, clearly I did not get turn one right. I am way the heck out wide, did not get into the apex, don't know what I was thinking there. Um, but did manage to get it squared away, so maybe that's why I was slower. Uh, kind of interesting. And you could do, again, you've probably seen this before, but not on a phone. I can back up and actually play the lap. So now you can literally watch the two cars and see where one pulls away from the other. So still pretty close going into turn one. They round the bend. The C8 runs wide. All right, you get the idea. That's what I get for trying to be funny. But again, any point on the track map, you can see you know what the speed was, time on accelerator, time on brake. And um, that's a quick look at what the app gives you as far as um, data analysis. I mean, again, this usually will show you both laps, and that's pretty useful for comparison as well, but we, for some reason, aren't seeing that at the moment. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the outings. So um, this is probably the, you know, one of the big, I don't want to call it a deal breaker, but kind of one of the things that gets in the way of me using this a lot more right now. Um, in order to use this, you have to get the outing 
your PDR file to the phone. And as you know, most PDR files are pretty big. They're, you know, at least 500 megs, sometimes a couple gigs, depending on how long, how, how long the outing was and whether it was a C8 or one of the older PDR systems. But what you need to do is, um, let's see, we'll do import PDR files. And uh, you need to download the MP4 file to the Alive Drive Race folder on your phone. Um, the way I do this, which works pretty well if you have the bandwidth, is I anyways, when I, when I get out of the car, I take the SD card, I put it in my laptop, I copy it to my, my laptop, and then I upload it immediately to OneDrive. Then I have OneDrive on my phone, and I just go to the OneDrive app on my phone, and I basically download it to my phone and then save a copy uh, to that folder. Um, and then from there, I can go ahead, it'll show up in this list, I can import it. These are all grayed out because I've already imported them. Um, and then that's all there is to it. Once you do that, it'll show up in your outings list and you can go ahead and, and move forward with it. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, it's a pretty cool app. It's free. Um, just another nice way to use your PDR and uh, post up any questions and enjoy.